to use others you can do that but otherwise we will start our warm up with our nice big arm circles and we'll switch directions and we'll switch arms and switch directions good we'll take it into swings in front of us really trying to open up our chest and back And when you feel good there, we'll start to move it on into our lower body, starting with our legs swing side to side, really trying to think about that lateral glute, thigh, feel a little oblique, but then also pull across body with our inner thigh. And we'll switch our legs. Good. From there, we'll go back to that first leg, forward and backwards, trying to feel hip flexors, quads, glutes, hamstrings, stretch out, warm up, and we'll switch our leg. And when you feel good there, we'll move into our hip hinges. So feet go just a little bit wider than shoulder width. Weights in our heels. We think about pushing our butt to the back wall, finding as much length as we can in the back of those thighs. Slight bend in the knee. And pulling ourselves up. Really think about Feeling as long as you can from behind the knee up to right underneath your butt. Seeing how much distance you can create there while keeping a nice flat back. We'll do about three more. From there, we'll just drop right away into our squats. So now we bend at our knees, sink our butt, pause for a second with those thighs parallel to the ground, push up through your heels. Do about three more. Good, and then we'll go into that leg Spider-Man stretch, I don't I know, I don't know what to call it. We bend hands on the ground, walk our hands out to a high plank. Right hand outside, our right foot outside of our right hand. Option here to drop your elbow to big toe to feel a little bit more stretch, or you can just twist, lift that right hand to the ceiling, replace your hand, replace your feet, and do it on the opposite side. No rush here. Back to your high plank. You walk your hands back to your feet. And then return again to high plank. Really trying to sink into the lunge. Really twist, open. And we'll do this four times through in total.
Warming up our legs, our core, arms a little bit. And when you're done with that, you can grab your weight and we're gonna drop right into this first set where we um, are just gonna go for about 30 seconds on each rep. I know the first couple seconds um, you'll probably watch as I demonstrate and explain, but um, just kind of follow suit here. We're just still warming up through this 30 second round, getting comfortable with movements and the such. So, um, we may get a little uneven on some movements like the split squat, but the longer intervals, we'll switch sides on the minute. But for just demonstration purposes for the split squat, um, bicep curl, we're thinking about moving low, just on an up and down plane. So we go straight down, stand, curl. Straight down, stand, curl. So pretty straightforward here. But what I don't want you to do is think it's a lunge where we're moving forward. We're really just sitting down, up, curl. Down, up, curl. So think about a stick that goes right through your spine, up to the roof, and you're just moving along that. Elbows stay tucked in. Good, we'll do two more. Excellent. Then we have a glute bridge march with a reverse bicep curl. So, first part of glute bridge march, we know. We lift ourselves into a glute bridge, we march, march, hips stay up, but here we add a reverse curl. So our palms are already facing down on the ground as leverage. This time we just have weights in hand, do a reverse curl, lower, march, march, reverse curl. The reverse curl, you're gonna feel more so in your forearms here. As always, make sure you're controlling both ends of that weight, especially as you go away, the weight will wanna fall on the ground. Good, so that would be the second exercise. Next, we have a frog bridge to a frog crunch. So, we stay on our back, soles of our feet connect. This frog bridge is really gonna isolate those glutes. So same thing we do as um, a glute bridge, except we aren't using our feet to push into the ground. We're just thinking about lifting, squeezing our glutes, lowering, that's the, the bridge. We can do that with our hands behind our head. Then we're just thinking about crunching elbows wide to knees wide. We lay back, bridge, crunch, bridge, crunch. So again, two parts to this movement, working different areas of our body, but trying to stay connected in each movement. Stay with me here for five more seconds. Good. Then we'll stand it up. Here we have a little bit of cardio work, but nothing crazy. We're gonna do a hinge to a hop. So, we think about just doing, it's our single leg RDL that we do all the time. We hinge, but then as we come up, we're gonna drive our knee, think about landing, Hinge, drive, land, absorb, hinge. So we'll be, we'll see how a minute of work on one leg feels. We may switch 30 seconds through um, on each round. But as always here, we think about a nice straight leg through our spine, through our upper body. And as we lift our leg, we lower our upper body, drive, absorb that landing. If that's too much on knee, ankle, hip, then again, we just try to mimic that. Maybe you just do 
a calf raise, squeeze, and then return to that hinge, okay? Next exercise is our inch warm push-ups, which we essentially warm up with that stretch that we've been ending with. Hands go flat to the ground, walk them to a good high plank, push up, walk it on back. Hands walk out, push up, hands walk back. Always the option to drop to your knees for this push up. I want you thinking about lowering your chest to the ground here. All the way. Stay with me here for about 10 more seconds. Good. Then we're gonna end this with Side plank clamshells. I know you guys know these. So, we're on our elbow, down on our hip, our knees are pulled back, so we have as straight of a line down the front of us as we can. Then we're gonna lift up through that knee and also lift to do a clamshell, lower. Lift, lower. So here, we're working both obliques, abs, a little bit of shoulder, as well as squeezing those glutes. So this one, we will just stay one-sided the first column through. And then um, as we go on that second column, you'll see that the exercise repeats, okay? So we'll stay in this clamshell for about 10 more seconds. But then we're gonna dive into about 12 minutes straight of work doing those six exercises two times through, okay? So we'll hop up, we're preparing for the split squat to bicep curl. So this time we're gonna go right leg forward. We have about 20 seconds and then we're in each exercise for a minute, okay? We'll go two times through this, recover, and then dive into that third column. We're gonna start here in three, two, one. So remember, we're just dropping straight down, curling, straight down, curling. So you have options through these to double up if there's an area of your body you're trying to target right now. So maybe you want a little extra leg work. You can do like a half, full, and then a curl if you want to do that. Or you could do the same with your upper body. So at the top, half, full, and then squat. Or if you're just happy doing one-to-one, -one, do that. But we're just staying put here. I want that right leg forward, and we'll switch which leg is where next time through, okay? We're here for five more seconds, then down on our back for our regular glute bridge march with a reverse curl. Meet me there. Feet, shoulder width apart, palms face down. We lift, squeeze, establish this position for the minute. March, march, reverse curl. March, march, reverse curl. March, march, reverse curl. Don't let that butt sink here. Stay put, squeeze, activate those glutes. Think about each foot having four points of contact, one on the pad under your big toe, under your pinky toe, and then on each side of your heel, you're pushing through all of those here. Good, weights go down. Soles of our feet connect. We do the frog bridge, frog crunch. Frog bridge, frog crunch. All the way through. Hips into full extension. 
Then our elbows meet our knees wide. It should be kind of right, even with your hip joints. When you crunch, think about keeping an apple between your chin and chest so that you're not just lifting your head, but you're squeezing, pulling those shoulder blades off the ground. Good, hop up. We have our hinge to hop here. Good chance to get your heart rate up. Let's think about just working that right leg. We hinge, drive, hop, absorb, hinge, drive, absorb. Think about hips. Stay nice and level with the ground as you hinge. Being powerful as you hop and really trying to absorb that landing. So that may require you put a little bend in your knee. Certainly don't be straight legged as you absorb. That's a recipe for disaster in that knee. We're here for five more seconds. Come on. By lengthen that hamstring. Then drive up, push off that quad. Good, both feet on the ground. Straight away into our inchworm push-ups. Try to keep your palms flat on the ground the whole entire minute here. Even as they walk back to your feet, think about your core being nice and engaged the whole time. In our push-up, our butt is down. We're straight from our shoulders, down through our hips, down to our ankles. Come on. We're almost through this first round in the first column. Good, meet me down on your right side. The knees pull back, nice straight line, lift, squeeze, lower. Lift, squeeze, lower. Make sure shoulders stay pulled back. Push, squeeze that glute, lift that hip. Keep going. We're almost there. Then we get right back into that split squat bicep curl. This time we go left leg in front. Each exercise for another minute. Good, hop it on up here. Left leg in front. And remember, we just move straight up, down, curl. Up, down, curl. Elbows are locked into our rib cage. We pull our shoulders back and down our spine. Moving on just one plane here. Up and down. Stay in it. Five more seconds, and we're down in our glute bridge with a march and reverse curl. Meet me there. Now, remember, four points of contact in each foot. Lift. Squeeze, establish that position. Then you march, march, 
arch curl. Think about eliminating any wiggle from those hips. Core is engaged. Stay with me. Ten more seconds. Then we release our weights. Connect the soles of our feet. Good. Get there now. We do that frog bridge. Then crunch. It's almost like you're going into a back bend in this frog crunch. That knife edge of your foot stays glued to the ground, and you feel. Those glutes squeeze at the top. Push through your feet, through your shoulders. Then those two points of contact we use, lift and our crunch. You've got this. Try to pick up your tempo if you need a little bit more. Hop up on our left foot. We're in our hinge to knee drive. Trying again to maintain reps, form. Find length in that hamstring and then be explosive as you pull your hips up and drive off that left foot. Keeping a nice flat back. We're almost there. We have about two more minutes of work. Good. Hands on the floor, inchworm push-ups. Right away into it. You guys know the drill here. Test yourself. See if you can do the push-ups off your knees. Maybe every other off your knees. Maybe you do two push-ups per one. Crawl out here. Test yourself. You know what it takes to get that heart rate up, which is obviously the goal of these high intensity workouts. So take yourself there. We're almost there. Good, down on our right side. We end with this minute of clamshells. Lift those hips towards the ceiling. Squeeze that glute. Lower in control. Lift. Pull yourself. We have 30 seconds and then we have some recovery. Stay with me. Feel those obliques work. Feel yourself holding your core steady, firm. You got this. It should burn by now. Good, relax. Quick drink of agua. And then we're gonna go into that Second column of work, mimicking um, our that first round, the 30, 60, 60. Again, really only one exercise here where the focus is shooting that 
heart rate. It's really just about that muscle endurance here. And a big part of today's workout is being able to distinguish where we're working and what part. So if you feel like, we'll give you about 15 more seconds for recovery before we dive into this quick round to explain what really is five workouts because the last um, exercise is the side plank clamshells, which we do just with our left side down, but we'll still do the 30 seconds of it. So first exercise, you guys know it's where we row and punch and rotate through, replace, row, punch, rotate through, replace, row, punch through, replace. Okay, we're down in this for about 20 more seconds. Thinking about lots of core control, a little bit of shoulder stability here at the top. Good, we're up out of that. I want you just sitting up, nice and tall. Big shoulder burn out here. We're gonna do a straight overhead press. Then your palms will face out. We press out. Press up, press out. Think about pulling that belly button back towards your spine and up into your rib cage. And we're just here, isolating those shoulders through two different movements. This one, great option if needed to just take one weight to push overhead, push out, push overhead, push out. But I want you staying in it for the minute, okay? Now, we're gonna go into our bear plank. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips. You're gonna try to stay here. From there, we straighten one leg out, lift, lower, lift, lower. It's gonna be hard. The focus is obviously core, glutes. I'm honestly not sure I can do it. But if not, we can just hold that nice steady um, tabletop and lift, lower, lift, Lower, again, heavy glute work here. This one, I am gonna have a switch at the 30 seconds on each minute because I don't want the sacrifice. Test yourself, see if you can hold that bear plank for even 15 seconds um, of each of the 30 second rounds. Next, we have our chance to kind of up our heart rate. So, the, more advanced option is to lunge, jump, absorb into a squat, jump, lunge, squat, lunge. As always, if the jumping is too much, just take it lunge, squat, lunge, squat, lunge, squat. Alternating the lunge, getting good depth on each part. This is gonna be for a minute. So again, maybe you push that heart rate for 15, slow it down for 15, push for 15. Next, we get into our good high plank again. Shoulder tap, shoulder tap, push back into down dog, ankle tap, ankle tap, high plank, shoulder tap, shoulder tap. Ankle tap, ankle tap, return. Through all of these movements, we want stability through our hips. Good. Down on your left side, knees pulled back. You guys know the drill here. Clamshells on our left side. So those are our six movements here. A little bit more core focus. The one cardio exercise should shoot that heart rate up. And 
burn out those legs a little bit. All right. We're gonna hop up in about 10 seconds. You'll have 15 seconds recovery. And then we're diving into our 12 minutes of work, okay? Let's jump on up. Get yourself ready. Well, I guess we don't need to jump up because we're starting in a high place. <laughs> but we're gonna go in three, two, one. We row, punch to the ceiling. Row, rotate, punch to the ceiling. You're ending up on the inside edge of one foot and the outside edge of one foot. If you need, take it down your knee and then when you open, that top leg straightens out. You can swivel on your bottom leg, but find the stability in your core and shoulder. Almost there. Good, flip on your butt. We have our overhead press to chest press, sitting up nice and tall. Anything but our shoulders is taken out of this exercise. We're holding ourselves up nice and tall through our core. Come on. Press up, press straight out. Push those shoulders through fatigue here. Try to not rest. 20 more seconds, come on. Using one dumbbell if needed. Five, four, three, two, one, tabletop. We have those lateral leg raises. Again, I'll switch you at the 30 seconds here. Try to lead with that heel up towards the ceiling. If you feel you can, add some instability by lifting the knee that's on the ground, up, off the ground, hovering about two inches. And switch your legs. So just the opposite leg, probably your left, strains out now. We keep our good tabletop and we really think about just lifting with that glute. You got this. Three, two, one, we hop up. Chance to get that heart rate up. We lunge, squat, lunge, squat. I want you to control your pace here. Do what you need to keep yourself moving for this one minute. I want your squats at good depths, lunges at good depths, or halfway, come on. We got this. Feel those legs burn. Ten more. Come on. Push through. Good. High plank. Come on, shoulder tap, push back, ankle tap. Opposite hand, opposite shoulder, opposite hand, opposite ankle. Reestablish the good high plank. Make sure those hands 
are placed right back under our shoulders. We're almost there. Then we get to drop down to our left side. 20 more seconds, come on. Work through this. I know it's burning. Good, left side down, come on. Clamshells, let's go. After this, I'm asking for only six more minutes of work. Lift those hips. I don't know why this song is playing. <laughs> I was like, this is the most depressing it is. song. It's like the song they play on. The like ASPCA. Yeah. Killing the vibe in here. Stay in it. Ten more seconds. Come on. For three, two, one. Hop on up. We're into the, I guess, high plank. It goes row to rotate. You guys get into it. I'm trying to change the song. But, go into it. Row, reach, replace. Row, rotate, reach, replace. Come on, work. Last time doing this exercise. Over halfway, come on. For five, for three, last two, and one. We flip onto our butt, chest press, overhead press. Burn those shoulders out. Come on. I know it sucks. We got this. Just stay consistent. Come on. About 20 more seconds. Last five. Three. Two, one, spin on the tabletop, hands under shoulders, knees under hips, right leg extends out. If you can, lift into that bare plank and lift that right leg. If you need, left knees just stable. We hold that core steady, belly button in, and lift that leg straight out from our hip. It's not back behind us. I want it nice and even with that knee. Switch legs. Left leg straightens out. Lift, replace. Come on. Work through. Last 10. Good, hop up, horse one, lunge, squat, lunge, one minute. Focus in here, push yourself. Get that heart rate up, come on. You got this. Just think about going a 
until I say so. Don't question the time. Just push. Lock it in here. All the way, come on. Those legs are on fire. Good, high plank. Shoulder, shoulder, ankle, ankle. Replace, shoulder, shoulder. Come on. You should be fatigued. Work through it. You have a minute and a half left of this Monday. Get through it. Challenge yourself. See how quickly you can tap the four corners. Challenge it. Good. Left side down. Climb shells with the hip. Raise. Nice straight line down the front of our body. Push through, come on. You got this. Come on, work for me for 10 more seconds. Good, relax. Get a drink of water. Whew. We are finito. Get that water. Start to cue yourself into that recovery mode. Focus on the big inhales in through your nose, absorbing that oxygen and pushing out through your mouth. Once you got your water and such, whew, we will start our cool down. We'll just do it on the floor today. Sitting up nice and tall. Let's start with our arms. We pull that right across our body. You want to give it a tug. And switch your arms. Pull across your body. Good. Now reach right hand down the center of your back. Pull on that right elbow with your left hand. And switch. Good. Relax those hands down on your knees. Let's do some nice big neck rolls here. Trying to get as big of a circle as we can with that. With our head, chin tucks, ear drops to our right shoulder. Our head falls back. Left ear drops to our right shoulder. We'll do about six big circles in each direction. If somewhere feels a little extra pull, 
Hang out there. And try to work through that little kink. Good. Sitting up nice and tall. Right hand reaches out. Palm facing away. You pull those fingers in towards you. Now think about dropping that wrist the other way. Trying to get those fingers to touch our forearm. And switch hands right. Fingers get pulled back. Palms away. Then we flip, pull that palm towards us. Good. We'll start in butterflies. We connect the soles of our feet. Wiggle around where you feel you get some opening in those hips. Pull your feet in towards you. Think about peeling those shoulders back away from your ears. You need a little bit more. Your elbows can push against that inner thigh. Good. Now we'll straighten both legs out. Cross. You can do your left or right. Left knee over your straight right leg. Twist to connect opposite elbow to the outside of that thigh and give equal pressure to turn and try to see the back wall behind you. Yeah. And we'll switch the other way. Really applying that equal pressure from elbow to knee to cause that twist in your mid back. On twist from that. Both legs straight now in front of us. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale, reach for those toes, just taking it where you can. Try to relax the back of your neck. And just sink into this stretch a little bit. Nice big inhales. And on exhale, see if you can pull your chest a little bit closer to your thighs. And we'll roll up out of that and roll ourselves down onto our backs. We'll go into our figure four stretch and we cross one ankle over our knee. Grab with both hands up underneath that knee and pull it tight into your chest. And switch your legs. Good. Feet connect together on the ground, hips fall in opposite directions, let your low back sink into the mat, releasing tension you're holding. Oh, 
squeeze those knees in tight, hug them towards our chest, really squeeze. Try to relieve some tension felt in that low back, maybe into your SI joints. Squeeze just a little tighter. And release that stretch through your heels, legs flat out. Reach your fingers up above you. Stretch those. Feel length from your toes out through your fingertips. And finally, we'll stack knees over hips, ankles in line with our knees. Everything's glued together, shoulders glued down to the ground. And we rotate side to side. Going about three to four each way. And when you are done with that, we whoa, can roll up out of it and call it an evening. Wonderful, wonderful job tonight. Um, you know the spiel, stretch more, drink more water, take care of yourself, listen to what it needs. <laughs>